Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's video is highly, highly requested and I'm very excited to bring it to you today. So I um, shared a photo on my Instagram because I was going, taking all of my witchy books out of my bookshelf so that I can repaint that bookshelf. And I shared with you this huge stack on my floor and I asked you guys like, would you be interested in seeing an entire book collection and you guys were super on board so I thought I would do that today and I'm excited I've got like a really wide range of spiritual books ranging from Buddhism because that is what I started like what I identified as when I started my spiritual journey I have a lot of like new age metaphysical and of course a lot of witchcraft and Wicca um, so yeah, and we got some like fun stuff like dispersed throughout the collection, so I'm very excited to share it with you. This is not all of it, this is just what was in my bookshelf. I have a lot in my altar and I have a lot in my bedroom as well that I've tried to collect through. Uh, I just tend, I don't know about you guys, but I tend to have like books in bags and then on my nightstand and then like near my bed and just so many places. So I tried to make sure that I got all of them. And I'm sure I'm missing some because I know some that kind of have an intersection with business or psychology. Some of them are in my normal bookshelves, so I might not have all of them today, but I did want to share with you guys most of them. So let's just get started. We'll start with this huge stack here. Okay, so starting with this first pile, we have some small guys, so we have Understanding Auras. This is a really fun, really cute pocket-sized book that I liked a lot. I'm not gonna explain every single book because it would take so long, but I do want to just point out some of them. The Crystal Seer I really enjoy for just kind of like a little mini encyclopedia for my crystals. These three are really actually cute. Um, they're little journals and they have like crystals on them, so I wanted to get them for like my crystal inventory, but I haven't used them. Um, then we have Everyday Mindfulness Happiness. These two were some of my first spiritual books that I ever got. Um, same with The Untethered Soul. Then we move into The Way of the Goddess. This book I found at a um, used bookstore. It's very, very old. Looks really cool. <laughs> haven't read it yet. A lot of these I haven't read. Got Earthway. I really love the Little Bit books. I think they're great introduction books to have. Um, like when you're getting into a topic just to, I don't know, maybe this is a good hint for my neurodivergent babes out there. It's just nice to get the vocabulary in your system before you read a much bigger book about it. I think it helps me to not get so overwhelmed when I'm learning a new concept. It really, it's absolutely just like a little dip your toes into the topic and I really appreciate that. So yeah, if you feel like sometimes you get overwhelmed, you might really enjoy these. Um, they have them on like so, so many different topics. You'll see them again. Wikipedia, of course, for the memes, love it. Gabriella Herstic, my favorite author. <laughs> Becoming Supernatural, I still really want to read this. Color, form, and magic, really great, love that. And then Cassandra Easton, I really like her. She's a really good author. Another really good crystal encyclopedia that I have. This book, you really can't see it. Oh my God, I know it's gonna be so hard to get to. Okay, this unmarked book. Very sexy, very sexy. Oop, it's all about tantric massage. And I'm so sad I haven't read it yet. I found this, I think I, yeah, this is uh, the bookstore I used to work at. We marked books like that. Um, I found this in like the super cheap section and I was like, oh, okay, like, yeah. Really wanna read it, really. Just need to get into it. This book, I'm just gonna like mention the books that have a lot, I have a lot to say. I didn't like it. I, ha I need to reread it because it's not one of those books that you read and you're just like, oh my god, that was horrible because I've had those, absolutely. But this book, I just like, I don't even remember because it was so long ago. I just didn't like it. Simple as that. And I need to give it another go. But let me know if you've read this in the comments and if you liked it because maybe I just, yeah, need to give it another go. This is a honky book. Love it. Um, all about meditation and kind of that, the path through... It says integrating Buddhist wisdom and brain science for great for greater mindfulness and I really really want to read this I love the textbooky style books like when they're so comprehensive and so all-encompassing it I just I love school maybe I'm weird but I love like 
textbooks and when it's something that I care about it's like so cool. This book is really fun. I wouldn't call it spiritual. I don't know why it's here but it is. <laughs> but this book is by the same author and she is an amazing illustrator. I absolutely love her art. I think it's just so gorgeous the way that she you know, portrays these goddesses. And this, you can actually see all the little annotations I made. This is one of the ways, this might seem silly to some of you, especially those of you who are like really into very traditional witchcraft things, no hate. Totally love that, me too. Um, but this was just like a super chill, casual way that I was able to look through very small snippets of goddesses and get an idea for who I felt a connection to and like who was representing the things that I thought, um, you know, I really connected to. Simple as that. So I really like that they have a lot of different um, cultures and pantheons. I think that's really nice. You tend to get a lot of like Greek and and Egyptian and Norse, not even so much Norse, but you know, that kind of stuff like in the mainstream. And so I, I really appreciated that this had so many different um, pantheons. We had to pull up Freya. Love this. And so of course, you know, I bookmarked this. Um, and I just think her art is like so pretty. It's like very Disney princessy. And this is a uh, meditation book that I bought that I haven't read yet. Okay, and also please ignore my messy altar. Um, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I love Liza Marie Basile. I still don't know if I'm saying her name right and I just need to look it up, but I love her. I really, um, I really enjoy her books. You can catch my review on Rebel Witch on my channel. I've got that up here. This book's a fun story. Actually, I went to a witchy store in Burbank and I was looking at some Hakate books and the worker was like, you have to get this one. Look how gorgeous this is. I don't even know where you can get this, to be honest with you guys. Because this person, like, is a regular at that store, so I, I think that's, like, I think it's self-published, but I will link if I know how to get this. I'll have an Amazon link for all the books, too. But it, it's pretty dope looking. It's really nice. Okay, you know I had to get the Pet Psychic book. Don't even, like... Don't even question me. You know I had to get the Pet Psychic book. <laughs> the Witch's Companion was one of the first books that I read, actually. Um, my mom gave it to me for Christmas. How funny is that? <laughs> and yeah, I really like it. It was really nice. Very much, um, very just like so educational and kind of just like the basics and the fundamentals and a lot of everything. Um, so it's not you know, like cute and Instagram-y, which I appreciate at times. Like, I think there's a time and place for both. Um, and I think that this is a really good style for like maybe your second book. Like get you get you a Gabriella Hurstic book to start because those are so fun and get you excited. And then get this book to build on top of that as well. All of these are great. Love to see it, love to see it. I. I, I do like Jason Miller books a lot. This is one that I really enjoyed. And then we've got the down here section <laughs> by Oak Ash and Thorn was really good. It was very intense. Um, Celt it's about Celtic witchcraft and I have quite a bit of Celtic in my heritage. So I wanted to read it, but it was very intense for me and I need to read it again because it was just like, just something that I need to read again. You know what I'm saying? Good Mornings was so cute. I love that book. It was really sweet and, um, I love the Reiki book, Sanctuary of Your Own. All those are really good. Mama Moon's Book of Magic, I really enjoyed as well. Especially for like a beginner book. It's like a very, here, I'll show you. Okay, so check it out. Really cute, really pretty. So this is what it looks like. And it's, I'm a Taurus rising, you guys. I really care about appearances. Like, it's just how I am. Um, you know, it's not dense. It's one of these styles where it is just like, kind of like, uh, image on like every other page, you know, so it's it's a very quick read and I mean I read it so long ago, but I remember really liking it and feeling like it was really good um, So yeah, I just think it's cute pretty and and nice Okay, so we've got this stack um Really am excited to read this book, Don Juan and the Art of Sexual Energy. I think it looks really good. Um, but yeah, for the rest of these, um, let's see, okay. I started reading this book and I was so excited because 
I, like I said, I have a lot of Celtic, I have a lot of Norse, and I obviously work with Freya, like I've said, and I want to really dive into, um, you know, the traditional Norse witchcraft, things like that, and so I started it and I did not finish it. I didn't even get that far, so I really need to just start from the beginning. Um, I, I do that sometimes a lot because I get so excited about a book and I'm already reading like four books so I, you know, I tend to kind of like, yeah, forget about books. But Wicca by Harmony Nice, oh, honestly you guys, there is a lot of bad reviews about this book and it surprised me. This is another book I read when I was in the beginning phase of my craft and you know, so I, I don't, there's not much I could have caught, you know what I'm saying? Like if there I wasn't reading it with an experienced eye, but I loved it. I mean, I think I'm okay. I think I turned out all right. Um, I, I should read it again, but I really like the book. I love Harmony Nice. She was my favorite witchy YouTuber and got the day she announced that she was leaving was like a, a holy morning day in this house, okay? Because I still put on her videos for comfort and really just she felt like such a friend and so I wanted to support her and got the book and I loved it. So um, I love that book. Sorcery and Religion in Ancient Scandinavia. This similar to this book, it's like I want to learn more about that, however, I have heard some sketchy things about old Varg Vikernes. I've heard some sketchy things about them, uh, I don't know, I just... I don't know anything about them. I'm gonna read the book. I got it at a used bookstore, so it's not like I'm supporting a problematic author. I got it used. I'm gonna read the book, take it with a grain of salt, but low-key, I mean, looking at it, doesn't this kind of look sketchy? Hi everyone, it's Editing Luna. Girl, let me tell you, I looked up this person just like as I'm editing to be like, okay, like, yeah, what's the vibe? I am, like, maybe gonna burn the book. I'm very upset, and so I just want to say, sorry for showing the book. Turns out this person is definitely racist and, like, a self-proclaimed Nazi, so definitely not recommending it. Don't fucking get this book. It's not even worth it. You don't want to learn about religion through that lens. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be useful. This person is not welcome on my channel, so I didn't want to take that out because... The book is there, you can see it, but I wanted to make this note that I am not going to read the book, actually, and I don't recommend that you read it. Okay, have fun. Of Blood of, of blood and Bones, top five favorite books. This is like the book on shadow magic. Anytime someone's like, what's your opinion on hexes? Like, what do you think about, you know, blood magic? What do you think about this? I'm like, read this book if you are interested in hexes and in, in any of the, like, darker or like spookier sides of witchcraft because there is no better way I think for an author to present this information in both an educational and like a I don't know the word for it but like a do what you want I'm not gonna tell you what's right and what's wrong because that's a you decision I love that she does that there's never like a lot of books, you know, will be like, the rule of three, or like, blah blah blah, or like, yeah, fuck them up, you know, like, like, two sides, and two, like, extreme sides, and I just like that she is like, here's the facts, this is how to do it if you want to do it, hey, keep in mind, this shit might happen, there are consequences to your actions, and... Yeah, just like keep that in mind. I really love her presentation of this information and I think it's just so amazing. So I love that book. Which is Almanac, Mood Book, another Gabriella Hurstic, what's good? I really want to read this book, The Women's Circle, um, like ASAP. It's on my like definitely read soon, please. We're getting to the, it's a little mix matched, but we are getting to one of my like please read this soon sections. Um, so yeah, I really want to read that book because I want to host some circles and to, you know, have that kind of in-person community. We've got Cindy Brannon's Entering Hecate's Garden. I also have Entering Hecate's Cave in my bedroom. 
Um, I haven't read this, but I have been reading Entering Hecate's Cave and I've been really enjoying it. Sacred Woman, definitely read soon. 78 Degrees of Wisdom, kind of like a classic tarot book. I've been really, it's like literally this is my please read soon, babe. You've been needing to read this kind of stuff soon. Um, I just like, yeah, I love, I love learning about tarot and continuing my pursuit of knowledge into the the art of tarot. We've got the Poetic Edda, which is one of the classic texts of Norse religion, so um, of course I had to get that. Haven't read it yet. <laughs> We've got Matt Arns, Mastering Magic. I also have Psychic Witch over on the next one, and I have not read this one, but I do want to. Astrology for Yourself, love this. It's a workbook. It's so good. It's so amazing. It's by Douglas Block and Demetra George, but I'll have it linked in the description, and it is my favorite and loved it so much it was a multi-month long endeavor um, because it is a workbook but it was like going back to school in the most fun way that you can we're going rogue we're off the tripod get ready y'all we've got art magic working with color healing mandalas and some of the bigger books as well the main one that i want to say about is this uh llewellyn's complete book of chakras Again, this is another one of those like big textbooky guys and I have kind of been putting off reading it because I want to be able to dedicate months of reading and practice into it, but I really want to read that soon. Okay, we've got Real Magic, haven't read it, Badass Ancestors, have not read it, but really want to. I haven't read this book. I bought it when I was a beginner at a used bookstore. I am a huge advocate for used bookstores and I used to work at one, so that's why that's part of the reason I have so many books is because when you love books and you work as, at a used bookstore and you get a 30% off discount and you see every book that comes in, what are you supposed to do? So I have a lot of books mainly for that reason, but also I just really love books. Um, so I never read that, but I do want to read it again. Um, I don't consider myself Wiccan anymore, um, but I did at one point and I still have like emotional ties to some of the things in Wicca that I do still um, use. Like I still cast circles sometimes and like call the elements and whatnot. And I know that, that a lot of witches do that, but I do like have, I do go back to a lot of my Wiccan roots sometimes. We have Matt Arn's Psychic Witch. I have read this, I read this in my Patreon book club. Hey, perfect time for a shameless plug. If you want to join a witchy book club, um, and meet twice a month in live Zoom and twice a month on a discussion board, definitely join my Patreon. We meet four times um, a month, once a week, and we choose our books based on the zodiac season. Um, Psychic Witch, what was that? I think that was Capricorn season because we wanted something that was very, um, you know, very like heady, very like intelligent and something we could really study to really get in tune with Capricorn energy. Um, and so, yeah, we, we choose our books. We do a poll. So I choose like three to four to five sometimes books that I feel represent the energy of the zodiacal season that we're in. And then you guys basically vote on which one you want to read. And then we all get our books and we read together. And it's really cute. And I love Getting to talk with you guys, like, over Zoom, it's really cute, so <laughs> definitely join if you want. Sweat Your Prayers I want to read so bad because it is about dancing and that kind of, like, ecstatic dance. I'm really interested. Inner Witch! Oh my god, Gabriella Herstic. This was my very first witchy book I ever read. It was so amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better witchy book. Like, it, it's just perfect for me. When you know me, you know what I'm saying. Modern Craft was really good. Witches, Sluts, Feminist is amazing. I have a whole review on that book. Need to read, need to read. Did read, you know. You guys know how the secret is. Like, yeah. Another little bit of... Llewellyn has a, a, a Sabbath series, and this is the only one I have is for Samhain. Um, would like to get more, but I don't have more. I've got a little pocket guide to rituals. Spellwork for self-care. I actually got this in a goddess provisions box and it's really cute. I really liked it. Saturn, finding fairies, urban magic, magic for the resistance. This is, we're now getting back into part of like, hey, please read this soon. Urban magic, I 
want to read because I live in Los Angeles, Magic for the Resistance. I want to read because I am a socialist. <laughs> Hex twisting, which is so interesting. The Untamed Witch was another book club. The Way of the Water Priestess is really good. Magic of Birthdays we read for Aries season because that's my birthday. Um, really cute. The House Witch. You guys know my beef with Your Intuition Led You Here. There are some good spells in there. Everyday Sun Magic I Need to Read, The Modern Witchcraft Book of Tarot, and then I just like have some sticker books and some coloring books. Okay, now we're moving into the books in my altar space. It is very messy here. <laughs> Let's get into it. Again, don't shame me for having a messy altar. Um, I need to do some work on it. <laughs> so basically this section of books is books that I consistently reference. Um, books that, yeah, I mean, like, I want them by my altar because I don't want to go search for them. They are books, yeah, that I consistency, consistently reference. Okay, starting right to left, we've got Magical Mediumship. Really love this book. I feel like it helped me, um, with my mediumship communication a lot, a lot, just like a lot. Really, really enjoyed it. The Witch's Book of Self-Care is really cute and kind of just one of those basic books, but I enjoyed it and I like to reference it sometimes. Next to that is The Complete Guide to Chakras. I really love this book and it's uh, just a really nice reference book when you're having like some sort of ailment and you want to see like, okay, what could be blocked or what kind of colors can I visualize or work with? What kind of energy can I work with to maybe unblock this? The Witch's Shield by Christopher Penzak is an amazing protection book. It is like very Law of Three, very kind of Wiccan in that way, but I still really like it. We have Harmony Nice's newest book, Heart Magic, which is just so adorable and tender and sweet. And I, anytime I'm having a hard day, I'm like, I need to reference that book. And you guys know that hard days happen. So we have it like very easily accessible. <laughs> the Little Book of Cat Magic is so sweet. And you guys know I work with Freya. I have two cats. I love cats. And I just like, I just like to have it. Witchy Homestead, I love. You Are a Goddess, one of my favorites. Uh, Flora Lusink's Moving Beyond is another great mediumship book. Sacred Sex, Gabriella Herstic, we love to see it. And Sex Witch by Sophie St. Thomas is another great book that I, I mean, you guys know I love like sex magic, so <laughs> I reference those a lot. And then we have Michael Herkey's The Glam Witch, which is a book about Lilith and working with glamour magic, and I really love it. Ideally, I have all my tarot books in this section along with my journals and stuff. Um, but I took some of them out recently, but I do have a couple of uh, books in there. A lot of them are deck guidebooks and just tarot books. Then we've got the cacophony of tarot cards. I don't know if I used that word right, but maybe I did. Um, <laughs> some of my tarot cards are there going way into the back as well. If you guys want a tarot card slash oracle deck, um, collection video let me know and I'll see if I can do that and then I have some more oddly placed books over here to the left that don't fit with the other books but still I reference a lot we have temperance Alden's year of the witch which I haven't read yet but I do like to reference it when planning my Sabbaths and I do want to read it through very soon I have the little book of energy healing techniques which I got when I was feeling really sick and having um like a weird unexplained illness, which if you guys are in the spiritual sphere, you know a lot of times that unexplained illness usually means there's something wrong energetically, and there totally was, and so I got this book, and yeah, I liked it a lot. Earth Magic got in a Goddess Provisions box, I need to read it. And then we have the Book of Blessings and Rituals, which I really love. One of my first books that I consistently was constantly just like looking at every single month. I really like it. Let me pull it out. Ah, there's so much happening. Okay, so this is what it looks like and it's, as you can kind of tell by the front, it is not, it's pretty non-denominational, but it does kind of lean like, you know, metaphysical, new age. And what I love about this book is that it goes by month, which I think is really nice. So we would look at May and it has like all these different things you can do, um, projects and then like specific dates. And they do talk about like Beltane, so they talk about the Wheel of the Year a lot. And yeah, I just really like it. It's an easy way to kind of flip to the month that it is. I, oh God, back in my prime, you guys, I looked at this book at the beginning of every single month and planned out rituals for every month. 
and I've just been kind of a little bit of a slump recently. A little bit of that depresso espresso, if you know what I mean. So I haven't really been doing great at being consistent with my practices, but I'm gonna leave this book out and I'm going to do some stuff because, you know, I deserve it. So we have City Witchery by Liza Marie Basile again, and I really like this book. I read this literally as I was driving to Los Angeles, not like literally as I was driving, but as I was in the passenger seat and as I was making the travel from Kansas to Los Angeles, I read this book to kind of prepare for how that change was gonna be because literally you guys, when I was living in Kansas, I could just walk to a forest or, you know, a field and be so deep and immersed in the nature and now it's very different. So I really appreciate having that book. And then Manifesting by Chris Ferraro is a great book about manifesting and I feel like it was the first book to really make the concept click for me and made it make sense in like not a floofy and weird way. You know what I'm saying? Like it gave me actionable steps, which I really appreciated. I do have three books over here at my very, very messy desk that's getting put together. We got a gaming PC, yay! Um, the Astrologer's Handbook, I keep, basically I keep these three books on me for when I'm doing natal birth charts. Um, these are just books that I, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't usually, I would say the most I reference the Astrologer's Handbook because They've got a lot of really good information on aspects and transits and stuff, and I really appreciate that. Um, but the bottom two books, Write Your Own Horoscope by Jane Struthers and Astrology, Using the Wisdom of the Stars in Your Everyday Life, are both books that really were beneficial when I was um, learning how to read natal charts for other folks and really diving deep into my chart. So yeah, I really like these books. Welcome to a very low light and messy nightstand. Usually have my crystal grid looking different and not just like earrings and crystals and candle wax everywhere, but you know, it's been the eclipse season and <laughs> your girl's always feeling it. Okay, if you guys hear Mr., just ignore him. He's a Gemini. So I have my dream journal sitting there on top. And from left to right, I have Cosmic Flow by Nikki Strange. This is a journal that kind of guides you through the different moon phases. I was pretty consistent with it, but then I kind of fell off. Um, this dream dictionary, I love. Let me see who's it by. Therese, I can't, I can't read her name, but I will link it below. Um, guys, I love this book. I had another dream dictionary. And I just like, I felt like it was okay, but this book, I really, really love it. I think it's it's the best dream dictionary that I have found, and I like it a lot. Then we have Sarah Prout's Dear Universe, which is a nice book. Letters to the Universe, which is more of a, a writing book. And then I have a gratitude journal and Bindle Punk Bruja, which I, it's fiction, but I started reading it and I need to finish it. Okay, I think these are my last books. These are the books I have in my room because I've been reading them or in, in my bag. So I have this book of pagan prayer that I just love. I, I love it. It's, it's really nice. Um, and I just took it with me one day. I haven't read through it, but it's, I don't know. As someone who grew up Catholic, like this just feels very religious. Does anybody know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know. And and so I, I like it a lot. And it's very specific. You can find like, let's see. You can find very specific things that you would want to pray through or pray with. Um, and I really, yeah, I really like that. Walking in Beauty is my current book club book. So I've been reading this. Just got this devotional to Freya. And then entering Hakate's cave, I briefly talked about this. So, yeah. So those are all of my books. I love them so much. I'm sure I probably forgot some, but that is the vast majority of it. So I ordered pizza and I'm gonna hop off here and go eat some food because it's Friday, Venus Day, and I just wanna indulge. You know what I'm saying? It's been a crazy week. It has been eclipse season. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I will have all those books linked in the description box down below. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all next time. Bye!